Hi you guys, it's Amy Gretchen. Welcome back to another video tutorial on my YouTube channel. I wanna share with you Lightroom. It's my favorite organization and editing program out there. I rarely go to Photoshop these days because I can do everything that I wanna do in the Lightroom program. Specifically, I wanted to share with you how I organize my photos in Lightroom. Now I do import my photos and in, from my hard drive into Lightroom and I have my hierarchy of my photos set up by the date that I took them. That is how I organize my photos. But in Photoshop, it's really fantastic that you can make these collections so that you can easily find photos that you're looking for. And I love it for projects like Project Life or Week in the Life where you just want to hone in and find specific photos. There's so many ways you can use collections. So just so you understand what a collection is, it's kind of like an album or if you're into music, it's, it's like a playlist. It does not affect any of your existing photo structure that you have on your hard drive or in Lightroom. It just connects the selected photos into groups for easy viewing or easy to find. So let me show you how I use collections in Lightroom. So I want to come up here. I want you to come over to the left panel and find your, um, your collections panel. And I'm going to hit the plus sign. And the first thing I want to do, the first thing I want to show you how to do is to create a collection set. And these right here, these big boxes that look like closed boxes, these are collection sets. So these allow you to add um, collections underneath it. So let's start off by making our own collection set. And just to make things easy, I'm going to put um, Lightroom. Lightroom tutorial, and I'm not going to put it inside anything. Well, I will put it inside anything. I will put it inside 2015 so that it will fall under this collection. And I'm going to hit create. And you will see that the new collection that I just set up is right here. And I'm going to close this down just so you can kind of see how I have it all set up. So if I want to add a collection to this, like I've added collections to this, then I will come up and I will hit the plus sign. Let's say, actually, I want to add um, these four photos to my collection. I just am going to highlight them. And then I'm going to come up in here and hit the plus sign. I'm going to hit Create Collection. So I'm going to name this um, Four Photos. And I do want it to be inside a collection. I want it to be inside the one that we just did. So Lightroom tutorial. And I'm going to make sure um, it is checked to include selected photos. So I want the photos that I just selected to be included. And I'm going to hit create. And you'll see that now I have my collection set, Lightroom tutorial, and I've just added a collection to it that I named four photos and I've got four photos in there. So let's say that I accidentally missed a photo. So I'm going to come back down to where we were and let's say this photo of Lola I want to add into my collection. And so I'm just going to click on it and I'm going to drag it. And you can see when I hover over this collection, it gives me the plus sign. So I'm going to let go. So now you can see over here that I've added five. I've got five images now. It is added into the image. But if we come back down here to week 32, that image is still here. So I can add as many images as I want in these collections and fill them up. So it's a really great way to be able to organize. So if I come over to four, the, the four photos and I realize, no, I don't want this image in um, this collection, I'm just going to hit, I'm going to highlight it and then just hit delete. And then it's going to delete it from there. And you can see that it is still in this collection, even though it has been deleted from this collection. Now, if I want to further do a hierarchy and I want to do more collection sets, I can just come over here and create another collection set. I'll just leave it as collection set. I want to put it inside the Lightroom tutorial. And you can see that now I've made another collection set where if I want to take this collection and move it up, I absolutely can do that. And now 
this uh, collection has changed and now it's under this hierarchy. If I made a mistake and I want to move it, I can just drag and drop and move it back into this collection set. So it's really, really easy to organize and move around based on your needs. So I'm just going to um, show you how I use it with my project life. So I have set up this ahead of time, um, this my project life ahead of time to um, with a smart collection. And a smart collection, and you'll see it right here, and let's just click on it so I can show you. A smart collection has rules to it. So what happens when I put rules um, onto this collection, Photoshop is going to pull all of my photos that obey that rule. So um, for instance, I'm just going to keep it named a smart collection. I will put it in the Lightroom tutorial set and I'm just going to keep it at the rating. So I'm going to say um, any photo that's rated at a um, I'll do five. I want to come inside this collection and I'm going to hit create and you will see that now I've got 235 or you know close to 2300 images in this collection. Now it's pulling images from the entire catalog and my entire catalog includes photos from 2014 and 2015. So all the photos from 2014 and 2015 that I have put a star on, it is pulling photos um, into this collection. But let's say I want to make it smaller. I'm going to double click and I'm going to add another rule. So I'm going to come over here, I'm going to add another rule and I want to go down to the date and I'm going to click on date and click on capture time. And I'm going to say all the photos um, instead of saying, you know, on this particular day, I'm going to go down to, um, is, bef is after. So I'm going to say is after, and I'll just do a random day. I don't even know. So we'll say is after April 11th, and I'm going to click on save. So now what it's done, you can see that it's changed from 2300 now to 950. It has pulled all the photos that are after April 11th. So you can see we've got a lot of April 12th um, all the way down to today. And you can see that um, all the photos are still starred. And it is that because I've said match all the rules. So they have to have five stars and they have to be captured after the date of April 11th. So that is what I have in this collection. So that is exactly how I've set up my project life. So let's, let me show you exactly how I do that. Let's do another smart collection. And this time um, I will name it um, Project Life Weekly and I will put it in our Lightroom tutorial. And instead of doing the rating, I'm going to come down here and do the date because this is how I do my project life. And instead of saying like after or before, I go down to is in the range of and it gives me two dates. So it's going to say in the range of um, this day and this day, it's going to pull all those photos. So you can do it by the week. So I'm going to just say, and I'm not really looking in a calendar, so, um, but I know there's no photos in there from today. So I'm just going to go in there and put in August 6th, and then I'll do August 10th. And this is what we find. It's going to pull all the images from the, from the 6th, or I guess maybe I didn't take any pictures on the 6th, so it's the 7th to all the way down, all the way down, all the way down. You can see to the 10th of August. So it's got almost 600 pictures from these days. And I guess this just happens to be when we were in Star Valley. So you can see this is how I've set up all of my Project Life um, weeks 
I've set it, I've made a collection set that's called Project Life. I've made a collection set for quarter one and two and three. And I do this because you can be scrolling on and on forever to get to, you know, 52 weeks. So I've, I've just set them up ahead of time. And as you can see, they, Lightroom has just automatically pulled in these images for me. So when I want to edit some images or, you know, I'm ready to work on Project Life, I will come to week 33 and then I can go through and I can choose the photos highlight the photos that I want to use for Project Life and then I can export those. So it is as simple as that. Um, I do this for projects like Week in the Life. You can see that I have this um, organized also by the date as well. Um, and, I've, and I've done it down here. This is a collection for a book that I'm working on for my uh, genealogy book that I'm working on for my dad's family. So you can make collections based on anything that you want. And I just, I absolutely love that it helps you to keep yourself organized in, um, in Lightroom. So anyways, if you like this tutorial, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask and don't forget to subscribe for more videos. All right, you guys, I will catch you next time.